Hi everybody, I'm at the Plum Performing Arts Center in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, I'm about to teach some classes for a workshop put on by the fabulous Jennifer Ardell Miller and Susie Guarino. And before I do, I thought I would do a quick tap tutorial for you. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about the difference between swinging eighth notes and regular eighth notes. So the first thing I want you to be able to do is clap the difference in the rhythms. For regular eighth notes, you would have and one, and two, and three, and four, completely even. And if I'm going to swing, then instead of and one, my counts are going to be a one, a two, a three, a four, and so on. So each two sounds are sort of rhythmically coupled together. A one, a two, a three, a four, and so on. And the way I see it, swinging eighth notes are just triplets or blueberries, but with the and count paused. So a one and a two and a three and a four. So instead of the a uh is not halfway in between one and two, instead it's two thirds of the way between one and two. A one and a two. So I'm going to use a few different steps to demonstrate these differences. We're going to use shuffles and we're going to use New Yorkers or Shirley Temples, Manhattans, whatever you want to call those. So in the case of using shuffles, something to note is that in either example, swinging eighth notes or eighth notes, our back brush sound, our second sound, is always on the beat of music. One, two, three, no matter which one we're doing. So the only difference is where we hit our first sound or our forward brush. Let's start with swinging eighth notes because we tend to do shuffles in that rhythm. So I would go, and again, that uh is two thirds of the way into the count. Yeah? Then we can try the other foot, same thing. If I'm going to do a regular, not swinging eighth note rhythm, then my shuff or my brush forward would be on the and count, which is exactly halfway between count one and two, count three and four, and so on. So in that case, because we're making a sound on the and, and we're making a sound on the beat over and over, we're going to be completely even. And one, and two, and three, and four. It should feel very different than the bounce of the swing. Let's try it. The left foot. Five, six, seven, eight. And one, and two, and three, and four. We can put both together by trying four swinging shuffles and then three not swinging shuffles and a stamp. It would sound like this. A one, a two, a three, a four, and five, and six, and seven. with a New Yorker, we need to make sure, first of all, that we know the step. Ball lap, heel, heel, brush, heel, toe, heel. And once you know that, you could swing or not swing a New Yorker. So in a New Yorker's case, we also tend to swing. So we would go, oh, my, oh, two. into regular eighth notes. The falap would start earlier on the and one and everything would be even as well, even though it doesn't exactly feel natural to do it that way. We would go and one and two and three and four. With no pauses, no extra space, no dancing faster and no dancing slower, even the entire time. And because we're starting on the and, we wouldn't start thinking apple. We would start pull apple, 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 because we're not starting on count one. 
Now let's put these ideas together and do one swinging set of the New Yorker on the right foot and then the left, and then switch to an even set on the right and the left. Just like with our shuffle, we're gonna to need to be ready to start our full lap on our even set a little bit earlier than we were starting before. So you have to be ready for that switch. Five, six, seven, eight. So that was my rhythm lesson of swinging eighth notes versus eighth notes. I hope you found this helpful. If you want more like this, uh, let me know in the comments below. Check out more about me at my website, shelbykaufman.com, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.